Hey, what's going on everyone? Today we're having a look at the Rode NTG2. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Now let's go. <laughs> it's another exclusive. Uh-huh. SOC and Marlo. Let's get it. Let's go. Come on. Yeah. Remember when I just to tap on. Today we're gonna do a quick unboxing of this Rode NTG2 shotgun mic. As you can see, I picked one up. I've been using this lav mic in the studio for a while and I actually tried an NTG1. So the reason I picked up the NTG2 versus the previous NTG1 that I picked up was because I'm trying to go as wireless or as cordless as possible in the studio and I have an old G2 wireless uh, Sennheiser mic and I've got the wireless adapter, but because the NTG1 needs phantom power, I didn't wanna to have to put up um, something to supply the 48 volt phantom power. So the NTG2 here is good enough just to take a battery. So because it takes a AA battery, 1.5 volts, I'm good to go. So let's just get to unboxing. So here the standard road stuff comes in it. Got the wonderful box here, but then you move on. You've got the, the road itself, the mic clip, the goods, You've got a windscreen, which I probably will not be using. And then ultimately here is the mic itself. So a pretty decent sized shotgun, probably about a foot long. And right on the inside, and I'll show it in a close-up, you can see that there's a location where you can unscrew and place a AA battery. Right now I've got one in there. And so my intent is going to be to connect this and the next tech review you will see or hear me use or shoot that I'm doing in the studio, I'll have this wirelessly connected and send that over to the GH5. So all in all, I'm pretty excited about it. I do want to at least share with you guys, you can see I'm a big fan of these. I don't know if I can get this in frame. I've got the GH4 here, and I have this Rode PSA1 mic, which are pretty cool boom arms, and I've got a separate one onto which I'm gonna put this NTG2 mic. It's the same thing I use for my studio mic when I'm recording. So I'm hype about it. I won't belabor the point. Hopefully, maybe I'll throw in an excerpt of a, of a sound test with this just to make sure that things are simple and easy. The mic is pretty cool. It has an 80 hertz high pass filter so you can get rid of any highs that you're not interested in having. So that'll be good. It's got the 5 8 to 3 8 fitting and I'm gonna use it with the standard mic stand that comes with it. So I'll just get this on the PSA one and we'll see what's good. All right. So a few final thoughts about the Rode NTG2. Uh, seems to work okay. As you can hear me now, uh, the audio input of course was a little bit less than the lavalier mic, but after that, uh, I turned up the input on the Lumix and on the camera and everything seemed to work out. So hopefully this will be the new standard setup. If anything changes, of course, I'll let you guys know. As always, Thank you for checking out the channel. Please subscribe, share this video with all your friends, and we'll see you the next time, all right? Peace.